Today, we have some awesome insights for you. If you've been tracking the meteoric rise of Liam Lawson, buckle up. We're diving deep into Red Bull's grand strategy and how this young gun fits into their monumental plans. This is one episode you absolutely cannot miss. Red Bull Racing, a dominant force in the F1 landscape, finds itself at a crossroads. With burgeoning talent like Liam Lawson impressing Benny and seasoned racer Sergio Perez's future in the balance, Red Bull's team decisions are the center of much speculation. In the high-octane world of Formula One, few newcomers managed to turn heads as swiftly as Liam Lawson. Hailing from New Zealand, this prodigious talent has swiftly etched a mark, demonstrating metal and flair since replacing Daniel Ricciardo after the Dutch Grand Prix. Lawson's electrifying drives, especially in the circuits of Singapore and Japan, haven't merely been performances. They've been statements that have sent the racing fraternity into fervent discussions. But it's not just the fans and pundits who've taken notice. Helmut Marco, the astute external advisor for Red Bull Racing, has showered praise on the young racer, lauding his skills and tenacity on the track. But while admiration has been plenty, a hint of patience is being sought. Marco has subtly suggested that a full-time cockpit seat for Lawson might only become a reality by 2025. Such a revelation may dismay many, given the immediate impact Lawson has had. Yet, the maturity he possesses is evident off the track, too. Rather than being embroiled in the mire of disappointment, Lawson appears pragmatic. He's intensely focused on delivering his best in the current role, while also keeping an astute eye on potential avenues in the future. In the end, Liam Lawson embodies the future of F1, a blend of raw talent, determination, and strategic foresight. Even if a permanent seat eludes him momentarily, the promise he holds is undeniable ensuring that he remains a key figure to watch in the coming seasons. When evaluating the meteoric achievements of Red Bull Racing, the role of Sergio Perez stands as a towering testament to commitment and consistency. He's been, in many ways, the silent force that has given the team its much-needed balance and stability. True, moments of errancy, like those witnessed in Japan, dot his racing resume, but it's pivotal to recognize that even the best have their off days. Perez's contribution extends beyond mere race wins, he has played a quintessential part in strategizing, pushing when needed, and holding back to fend off adversaries. This combined tactical approach has been instrumental in Red Bull securing pivotal points, leading them to their prominent position in the Constructors' World Championship. However, there's an undercurrent of discussion in the paddock and amongst fans alike. With the rise and domination of Max Verstappen, a prodigious talent setting blistering times, comparisons are inevitable. The growing chasm in their qualifying times is becoming a cause for concern for many. Verstappen's sheer pace and aggressive driving style have set a benchmark that Perez, despite his commendable performances, struggles to match consistently. Such disparities lead to a larger question. Does Red Bull Racing need a driver who can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Verstappen's prowess? While a balanced team often requires the harmonious combination of a leading star and a reliable second driver, the widening gap might push Red Bull to consider its future choices. While Perez's invaluable contribution to Red Bull is undeniable, the sport's evolving dynamics and internal team aspirations may lead to some critical decisions in the coming seasons. But for now, Sergio Perez remains a cornerstone of Red Bull's success story. Red Bull Racing, with its strategic modus operandi, leans heavily on the prowess of its star, Max Verstappen. But as any Formula One enthusiast would attest, the success of a team isn't solely defined by its leading driver. The unsung heroes, often termed as the number two drivers, play a crucial role in the team's championship ambitions. Looking back in time, legends of the sport, like Barrichello, Weber, Bottas, and notably Perez in 2022, have epitomized this role. They've shown that being a number two isn't about subservience, but rather a harmonious blend of speed, experience, and the ability to support the team's broader strategy. It's a balance of ambition and pragmatism, the ideal number two driver typically possesses a triad of traits demonstrated by strong performances, even when racing for mid-tier teams. They often punch above their weight, delivering results that highlight their raw talent. Multiple F1 seasons under their belt, giving them a nuanced understanding of race dynamics, strategies, and the temperament to handle high-pressure situations. While they harbor dreams of podiums and championships, they are adept at ensuring their aspirations never eclipse the needs of the team or the objectives of the primary driver. The contemporary F1 landscape, however, finds a dearth of drivers fitting this niche mold. Sergio Perez, with his blend of experience, skill, and team-centric approach, has set a standard that seems daunting to match. 
As Red Bull contemplates its future lineups, it faces the challenge of finding someone who can step into Perez's role seamlessly, embodying the essence of the quintessential number two driver. The realm of Formula One is not just about speed and skill, it's about partnerships, team dynamics, and how two drivers complement each other. With Sergio Perez's tenure at Red Bull under scrutiny, the paddock and fans alike are abuzz with potential successors who can align with Max Verstappen's electrifying pace and persona. One name echoing in this context is Yuki Tsunoda. Young, aggressive, and with a flair that has captured attention, Tsunoda's speculated move to Aston Martin adds a layer of intrigue to his future. His performances have displayed glimpses of raw talent, which, if honed right, could make him a fitting partner to Verstappen. On the other hand, Daniel Ricciardo, a familiar name with a blend of experience and victory, poses as another contender. While his recent form may raise eyebrows, one cannot disregard the flashes of brilliance he's shown over the years. A return to his prime could make Ricardo a potent ally or adversary to Verstappen. However, the conundrum is larger than just finding a fast driver. Sergio Perez, despite the waves of criticism, has displayed an uncanny knack of being in the right place at the right time. His two critical wins in races that eluded Verstappen underscore his value. The Mexican driver's ability to capitalize on opportunities and fetch crucial points for the team has been paramount. The overarching question, thus, is not just about speed, but compatibility. Can another driver not only match Verstappen's pace, but also synergize with him, contributing to the team's strategic ambitions? While talents like Sonoda and Ricardo bring their strengths to the table, replacing Perez will be about finding a driver who harmonizes with Verstappen and Red Bull's ethos. As the saga unfolds, the team's decision will undoubtedly be pivotal in shaping the championship battles ahead. The intricate world of Formula One is as much about talent as it is about strategy, both on and off the track. For rising star Liam Lawson, his trajectory within the prestigious Red Bull Racing framework appears clear, yet is laden with possibilities and anticipation. The promise of a 2025 seat, an unambiguous sign of the team's faith in his capabilities, has been a defining factor in Lawson's commitment to Red Bull. Such assurances in the fiercely competitive world of F1 are rare and speak volumes about the potential the team sees in Lawson. They're not just investing in a driver, they're cultivating what they believe might be the next big sensation in racing. However, the dynamics of F1 are ever-changing. Rumblings in the paddock about Sergio Perez's potential early departure from Red Bull before 2024 adds a layer of intrigue to Lawson's narrative. Should these speculations translate into reality, Lawson, primed and ready, might find himself thrust into the limelight earlier than anticipated. Such a move would not just be a testament to his talent, but also to Red Bull's knack for nurturing and fast-tracking their protégés when the situation demands. Lawson's recent contractual agreement with Red Bull further cements his position within the team's future blueprint. Contracts in F1, especially with top-tier teams like Red Bull, are more than mere documents. They're symbolic of trust, potential, and a shared vision of championship glory. While the broader outline of Liam Lawson's journey with Red Bull might seem charted, the nuances lie in the details. How soon will he get his chance? How will he handle the pressures of being in a top team? While time will answer these questions, and one thing is clear, Lawson's journey in the world of F1 is poised to be an exhilarating one, and fans and pundits alike will be watching keenly. All right, there it is, a deep dive into the intricate web of Red Bull's strategy and where Liam Lawson fits into this massive jigsaw. The future of F1 is nothing short of exhilarating. Make sure you hit that like button if you enjoyed this video, and don't forget to subscribe for more insider updates. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.